As Georgia continues to do their hand recounts of the vote in the 2020 election, thousands of votes have been found for President Trump. But many expert, experts say this is not enough to push the uh, team to victory for the Trump campaign. Joining us now to weigh in is Congressman Greg Stubbe of Florida. Congressman, thanks so much for, for coming on. Look, uh, there's yeah, a lot to talk me. about this election. Absolutely. There's a lot to talk about this election here. I know that you yourself, even on this program, have been vocal since day one about the possibility of Democrats politicizing the U.S. Postal Service in this election. So are you now, I see you after the election here, are you surprised by the ele election outcome? Why or why not? Yeah, I'm not surprised. I, you know, what's interesting is you have a union, the Postal Worker Union, who can endorse and give money to a candidate, and obviously they supported Joe Biden. So if those are the same people that are delivering ballots, I think it's going to be problematic. And there's certainly going to be questions from Americans as to, hey, you 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 or endorsed a candidate, and uh, you're the one delivering all these ballots that either are or are not showing up. The bottom line is every state should follow the law the way we do it in Florida. We have absentee voting in Florida, but you have to be a registered voter with voter ID and request a ballot. That ballot has a barcode on it. The signature on that ballot has to match the signature when you return that back to the supervisor of elections office. I myself, as a registered voter, can go online and see if Sarasota County, Florida has received my ballot and it's been tabulated. And if it hasn't been received, then you can go and either vote in person or request another ballot. That's the way these vote by mail uh, ballots should be handled, not where in states like Pennsylvania and in Michigan, where there's no voter ID law on the back end. And I heard this last night also in Georgia, they're doing this as well. There's no voter identification as to who these people are. Ballots are just coming in. You don't know who they're coming from. You don't know if they're registered voters and they're being counted. And that is problematic not only for these states, but I think it's problematic to the American people in having trust and faith in their election process. That was my next question to you. I remember covering this election night, and I'm thinking, Florida comes in. We knew your results almost immediately. One of the first states to report. We had some 90-something percent of precincts reporting uh, before 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yet no other state was really able to match this in terms of swing states. Why is that? Is it because of the way you do absentee voting, voter ID, and in-person voting? Uh since the 2000 election, obviously, was a big problem in the yeah. state of Florida. The Republican-led legislature has done a, a huge amount of voter reform, voter ID laws, to ensure that our ballot counting and our process in Florida is accurate and we can trust it. And our absentee process this is the way I'd explained it. You have to be a registered voter, request a ballot, get that ballot, fill it out. Your, your signature has to match it on the back end. And there's very little room for fraud. I'm not saying that that fraud doesn't occur in some minor capacity in Florida, but there's very little room for what you're seeing in some of these other states where troves and ballots or pallets of um, ballots are being found at, at three o'clock in the morning in some of these states. And by the tens of thousands in swing an election, they all happen to be for one candidate. That's that doesn't breed any trust and faith from the American people in their election process. And that's how that's not how we do it in Florida. And I knew the I have nine counties in the state of Florida. I knew the results of my election by like 8.30, like an hour and a half after the polls close, because we have a system in place that is faithful and, and our uh, elections trusted. Congressman, uh, 15 seconds for you. What do you advise the president do at this point? Continue the fight? What do you suggest? Absolutely, 100% continue the fight. Um, exhaust every legal mean possible in all of these states uh, until the, the point at which hopefully they won't be certified and we'll get some of these uh, recounts done and uh, some of these maybe even states that need to, to redo the election due to the fact that the ballots, we don't know where those ballots are coming from. So I 100 percent urge uh, both the Trump team and Trump victory and their legal team to exhaust every legal remedy within their power. That is Congressman Greg Stubbe of Florida. Congressman, always good to see you. Thank you for your time. Yeah, thanks for having me.